Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, Do You Miss Me? I've got an email here from a guy, and he was dating a woman for about seven weeks. And then it was obvious she was really starting to get into him, and start asking him things like, Do You Miss Me? And she started telling him how she didn't date guys who were dating other women. He was dating multiple women, and he, he put his foot in his mouth a couple of times. Now they basically haven't talked in six days, so he wants my opinion on this because this is something that everybody is going to deal with. And this is important because you got to make women – even if you're dating a lot of different women, each woman that you're dating, you want them to feel like they're the most special woman in the world to you. But if you start making them feel like they're a notch in the, just another notch in your bedpost, you're going to ruin attraction. They're not going to want to see you anymore. That's most women. Not now. There's other women that are going to have a take it or leave it. I don't give a shit attitude. You know, whatever. Different strokes for different folks. Because you got to love in such a way that the person you love feels free. But most people, they don't come from that place. Men and women both. They want to. They want to possess that other person. They want them to be exclusive with them only. And those people that want to lock you down to a commitment when you're not ready for it, you just got to let them go by the wayside. So the quote says, most exclusive relationships start off as casual affairs. Over time and as both people start to become more and more interested in each other, other people they may be dating slowly fade away. Women find men who have many options with other women to be more attractive than guys who have no other options. However, in order to maintain a woman's growing attraction for a man, he must make her feel more special than any other woman he may be dating. If he makes her feel like just another notch in his bedpost, or as if he is only using her for sex, she will lose interest and back away. Therefore, as a woman's attraction grows, she will start inquiring how much or if you miss her. Ask about other women you are dating and where you think things are going. Why? The more a woman likes you, the more attention of yours she will seek. Make her feel special but never mislead her about your true intentions. That's basically what I think this last guy was a little guilty of. He was a little evasive and he was a little too cheeky, if you will, to borrow a word from the my friends in the UK. And it kind of backfired on him a little bit. So he says, Hi, Corey. I've been a student of yours for about a year now and I've come a long way thanks to your help. I'm 50 years old, fit, look to be in my early 40s, and I'm a bloody good catch. I met this girl about seven weeks ago who was a solid nine. She is 42. When I saw her, I shit myself but went up to her and boldly asked her out, gave her my number and she texted me the next morning. That definitely is a sign of high attraction. I followed your advice and I believe I have done a solid job to date. Some of the positive comments she has made about me are, you are so confident. No one was, has ever come up to me and asked me out the way you did. Again, how many times have you heard me say in a video, when you apply the things I teach, you're not going to have any competition. And here's another woman saying those kinds of things to him. Her whole life, she's never had a guy approach her this way. And she's 42, by the way. You're a strong man. And also, every time you come to my door, I like you more and more. So those are, those are good signs. That means at least at that point when she's saying those things, her attraction level is going in the right direction. Even my friend's comment on how into me she appears to be when we are together. Well, one thing I want to say is you shouldn't be going out on group dates unless she's your girlfriend, dude. It tells me you're violating some of the principles. Also, the sex has been great. After the first time we had sex, date number four, she said, I don't date guys who are seeing other women. I cheekily replied, you're my number one, to which she smiled. She also asked, why don't you text me all the time, to which I gave the Corey Wayne response. I would say something like, you know what? I like to keep things random and spontaneous. I don't want to turn into a robot or feel like we have to call each other or text each other at certain times every day. It's nice to just surprise each other with those kinds of things. If you feel like you miss me and you want to talk, reach out. Notice how she says, how come you don't text me all the time? What does that tell you? She's used to guys blowing up her phone all the time. Two weeks ago, we had an amazing weekend of dates, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And most of Sunday. I know, I know. Well, there's nothing wrong with spending that much time together. Hang out, have fun, hook up. 
as her a woman's l- attraction level grows, she's going to want to see you more and more. She's going to want more and more of your time. And the bottom line is after the fourth date, when you slept with her, she's basically saying, hey, I don't want you sleeping with anybody else. I gave her some space with no contact until Wednesday to set up another date. But she said she was busy having dinner with family and would call tomorrow, which she did. And we agreed to meet on Wednesday of the following week due to her family commitments. So far, so good. Over the weekend, she was still texting me sweet things, but I noticed it had cooled off a bit. Well, remember, there's a chapter in my book where I talk about how women are like cats and sometimes they're like that. Sometimes they're texting you and calling you all the time and then sometimes they tend to back off. Maybe it's because they got something going on in their life or maybe they just got a little bit bored and that's okay. You can't let it cause you to become unglued and make you feel like, oh, I got to start calling and texting more. She called me up on Saturday and asked if I was missing her to which I replied, maybe in a sweet way. I would have just said, of course I miss you. I'd love to see you. Why don't you come on over? When are you free to get together? I mean, if she's reaching out, you should assume she wants to see you. I said in conversation that I was looking forward to seeing her on Wednesday and was thinking about getting out the phone, but she said, I'm having a small dinner party on Wednesday and went through the trouble of naming some other guy who was coming. Notice how he had a date on that day, but now she's just decided without in telling him up until now, oh, by the way, I'm having a dinner party on Wednesday and there's this other guy coming. What does that tell you? She's trying to make him jealous. So she's trying to manipulate him and she's being disrespectful by canceling their date and blowing him off. I replied, I thought we were going out on that day but didn't make a fuss about it. I would have said, hey, we got plans on Wednesday. What do you mean you made a, a, a dinner party? We have, we have plans to go out on a date. What's up with that? I would have pushed her on that because that's disrespectful. She's blowing you off and treating you like a second class citizen. And on top of that, now she's, oh, by the way, there's this other guy that's coming. She's out of here. We out of here. I asked her, when are you free? She said Thursday and we got off the phone. Yeah, I, you definitely did not handle that part well, dude. I then thought about what happened and felt I'm getting dicked around here. So I texted her, I can't do Thursday or Friday, so next week's out. Maybe some other time. Stay in touch. She replied, okay. That was six days ago and I have had no contact. Bloody nerve wracking. I have continued to date other women so my cup's not empty but I really want a shot with this woman. Well, instead of talking, instead of communicating, what does she do? She's punishing you. Oh, she's not meeting my expectations. Did she even inform you? So obviously it looks like she's expecting you to be exclusive with her at this point. And when you weren't going along with it, she's like, oh, let me rub another guy in his face. I had a woman that I dated that was like that. It never ends well. When women do things, that's just rude and disrespectful. I mean, it's not like you're rubbing other women in her face. You're just casually dating her and you're casually dating other women. But he had been dating her for about seven weeks and usually women are going to fall in love by week six or week seven. So I think in some cases, you were a little too much of a cold fish at times but if you just wanted to date and play the field, then that's another story. He says, I feel that the two points she doesn't like are the days when I don't text and the fact that I am dating other women. I haven't told her any details on my dating other women. I told her that she's my number one and I haven't hidden my attraction to her. So you gotta be, one thing you gotta, that, that jumps out at me is you gotta be clear about what you want. Are you looking for a girlfriend or are you just looking to play the field and if you're looking to play the field then the only way you're going to be able to play the field is if women allow you to come and go as you please some women will be cool with that and they won't bust your balls but the majority of women especially you've been dating for six weeks and you're sleeping together and you're spending three or four days together at a time they're going to want you to be exclusive with them at that point and that's why if the, if the topic comes up you say look i'm not looking for a relationship right now i just want to date and have a good time I'll understand if that doesn't work for you. So you got to be honest and open about what your intent is with her. But like I said, just those little things that I pointed out is is the only thing that I see. But overall, you look like you were doing pretty well. But like I said, what you see here is her character and the fact that she just purposely rubbed another guy in your face. I had a 
a girl that I was dating. She was my actual girlfriend and we hadn't talked for several days because I snapped at her. It was like a Monday. I had snapped at her. I was just I, – I had a stressful day. I came home. I was kind of pissed off and it was like the fourth or fifth time she would called me that day. So I was kind of irritated and I was kind of rude to her on the phone and uh, then I didn't hear from her for like the whole week and I was used to hearing – and so it was like I think Friday or Saturday I knew she was pissed. So I called her and I knew I had been a dick. And then she starts, oh, I think we should take some time. And, and then you, what, you know what she did? And this was my girlfriend. We've been dating for a year. You know what she did in those few days that we hadn't talked? She called one of the other guy friends and went out and had drinks. And, and he was holding my hand and telling me that I shouldn't break up with you. I'm thinking, what are you doing going, going and hanging out with this fucking little weasel? And why are you telling him all about our relationship and getting relationship advice from him and having drinks with him? When you should be talking with me. If you were upset, you should have told me. She wasn't a good communicator and she admitted it. But that really bothered me. The fact that she was – I mean I granted I fucked up. I was a rude dick to her on the phone. But that was uncalled for. And that caused me to – I mean we, we've been dating for a year at that point. It was like we don't talk for a few days and you're already hanging out with the friend. And this guy, I knew a little about, a bit about him. Because he always wanted to date her but he was too much of a nice guy so he kept getting friend zone with her. And of course, we don't talk for a couple of days. She thinks all oh, the relationship's going to end. Let me line somebody else up. And then so I didn't see her for about a week and a half and then I went to her cousin's wedding and then she was mad at me, still mad at me. I'm so mad at you. She's telling me that. And obviously she'd been hanging out with that guy probably most of the time that we were away but she's, she still loved me and cared about me. And she was crying. She was upset. I was like, oh, this, this is not good. And so all of us end up going back to one of her other cousins that night. And I'm on the way there and I'm with one of, one of her brothers and he's driving my car. And he was a cop, by the way, and we'd all been drinking. And so we're, we're driving to her cousin's house and she's like, I don't want you coming over. And, and I was like, we're already on our way there. And, and, and she said, um, well, I'm bringing another guy. And, and so she brings this dude there and I'm just thinking – Man, that's bullshit. And I said, if you're cheating on me, that's it. I'm done. Ah, this is bullshit. And she rubbed another guy in my face to try to make me jealous and all it did was lead to breaking up. And I was like, fuck this. That's just – that's not cool. That's uncalled for. And so when you encounter – that's so when I read something like this, that's the thing that jumps out at me. That's that's what you get. Women that do this, they purposely – you're not being rude about the fact that you're dating other women. You're not even telling her anything about that. But instead, she's taking a situation with another, another guy and purposely blowing your date off like it never even was scheduled and then saying, oh, by the way, there's another guy coming. So she's purposely trying to manipulate you and trying to make you jealous so you start, ch start chasing and pursuing her. You really want to date somebody like that? If she weren't, really wanted to see you more – or she really wanted to be exclusive and didn't like the fact that you were dating other women, she would have said something about it. Even though she did say that I don't date guys that are dating other women. But even though she said that, she continued going out with you. But that was only the fourth weekend. And so if she would have brought that up, I would say, what are you saying? You want to be exclusive or what are you trying to tell me? Because that was right after they slept together for the first time, which was on the, fir you know, the fourth week. But at this point, I mean – She's done. You know, that's that's she's disqualified herself because of that behavior and I would personally would never go out with somebody like that again. Because when they get mad, they get upset, they don't want to talk about things. They seek to punish you, they seek to hurt you. And in this particular case, she's gonna rub another dude in your face. And I just shared a story with you know, that was a pretty painful experience of how my a relationship of mine, a girlfriend that ended with a girlfriend, it was like that's bullshit. And that's just the way they are. She was incredibly insecure and that's how she dealt with it. Women with a healthy self-esteem, they're not going to do that. They're not going to – you know, if they're dating other guys, they're not going to tell you about it. But what happens is you, as you date and you spend more and more time together, they just start spending less and less time with the other person and you do the same thing. You start spending less and less time with the other girl and it just kind of naturally evolves. But it kind of sounds like you really just kind of wanted to play the field and not be – exclusive or tied down because I don't I haven't seen you mention anything about that in your email. I personally wouldn't I'd never call or text her again. If you want to continue dating her and hooking up with her, keep her as a fuck buddy or friends with benefits. Wait to hear from her. When she does, make the next date. Have her come over to your place, hang out, have fun, and hook up. I wouldn't make a somebody like this my girlfriend. 
Definitely not. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you. And I will talk to you soon.